Hi again then guys and welcome to episode 30 of Tour of Japan, the review series for Gran Turismo 6's selection of Super GT class racing cars. And in this episode we're featuring another team variant of the Lexus SC430 lineup. This particular model is the team Patronus Toms SC430. It's one of the slightly newer models of JGTC cars in general but also of the SC430. And I have to say, overall, it's probably my least favourite visually. I don't really like the livery on this car. To me, it looks kind of like a tube of toothpaste with those colours, but each to his own. And obviously, the colours don't really affect the car's performance, of course. Now, with the SC430s, there are only four primary ones to choose from, as I've mentioned before. That's not including the base model. And they are very similar. Super GT cars in general tend to be quite similar, but most aren't as similar as the SC430s. They are almost identical. Whereas some other models, such as the Skyline or the Supra, some teams use different size engines, etc. These Lexus models are much, much closer to each other in terms of spec than many of the others. That said, the specs are a 4.5 litre engine, just like all of the other SC430s, 916 brake horsepower, which is the higher of the Lexus models, one of them does have slightly less, a very impressive 659 pound-feet of torque, and the Lexuses in general do have very good torque, they are higher than some of the other GT500 models. It weighs in at 1,100 kilos, which is exactly the same as the other SC430s, and is happily in the lower end of the weight spectrum for the GT500 cars. The PP is a pretty high 661. It's actually got one of the highest PPs of any Super GT car, but again, that's no higher than a couple of the other SC430s, which also sit at 661. The power-to-weight ratio per tonne is a pretty impressive 833 and the price is exactly the same as the other SC430s at 950,000 credits. So with the specs out of the way let's get to what is arguably the more important thing to know about the car. What's it like to drive? Is it any better than the other SC430s? Is it worth buying? While it's certainly slightly different to the others, they're not identical by any means, even though their specs are very similar, the cars do have distinct characteristics. Their straight line performance is very similar, and the SC430, as I've mentioned before, is one of the strongest straight line Super GT cars in the game. Very strong acceleration through all of its performance range, low end, mid range, and top end, and the top speed is also very good, around the mid 230s to 240 region, which can keep up with, say, a Supra, and pretty much outrun any of the Skyline models or most of the older Supras. Overall, the SC430 is a very, very strong Super GT car in all of its team forms. This model in particular, well, I would say the handling feels a little bit different to some of the others. It's slightly heavier in general around corners. As you just saw then, it's possible to spin up the tyres, of course, as with most racing cars, but the handling in general does seem to have a bit more of a weight to it with this particular spec machine. Which is interesting, it's, it's good to know that the cars are slightly different. Obviously that's dependent on tuning as well, but even if you tune all of the cars in the exact same way, they do still have distinct handling characteristics. So overall, is it worth buying this model? Well, yeah, I guess so, because it's not really any better or worse than any of the other SC430s. The facts are, it's just as quick in a straight line, has the exact same specs as, say, the Denso Sard version. Doesn't look quite as good in my opinion, and really that's what it boils down to. The only significant difference with this model is the look. So really, when you're choosing an SC430, if you're a fan of the car or just want to give it a try, it's really more about which one you just like the look of the most, rather than one of them being outstandingly good compared to the rest. Because they're just so similar that 
none of them are really that much better than any of the others. There is one that's slightly lower in spec, which we already reviewed, but in general, they're all just as good as each other, pretty much. So, if you like this model in particular, then, yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. Is it any better than the other SC430s? In general, no, not really. It's pretty much the same. It breaks even around the track. Like I said, slightly heavier steering. So if you prefer that, then by all means go for it. But overall, it's essentially a very, very similar performance car around the track. But the SC430 in general is a very good choice of Super GT car to go for. As I said, very strong straight line machine and very good handling as well. So, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.